Right, so this is a, um, a one-third scale model of the Sentinel-6 satellite. Um, uh, we are building two of these exact copies in real life. The first one is called, uh, is dedicated uh, to Michael Freilich, so it's the Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite. But this is a, a one-third scale replica, uh, so the, the real satellite is, is three times bigger. And this is uh, set up in a, um, a deployed configuration where you can see the solar panels um, in their uh, flight configuration, how they will look in, uh, in real life uh, once uh, the satellite's in orbit. This is based on a, on a design uh, from Airbus Space and Defense in, in Germany, and uh, it's a tried and true technology uh, with regards to the spacecraft, so it's uh, highly reliable. Uh, on Sentinel-6, um, the, the objective is to have continuity and have this mission go on for um, at least five and a half years per satellite. We're, we're expecting that to go longer, uh, but that's uh, t roughly two years longer than how we designed it for the prior JASON series and with two satellites. So we're expecting that with the two satellite project, we're gonna be able to continue this measurement for a decade. Seriously. I'm more than humbled by this great honor. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Now, decadal scale trends in regional and global sea level <laughs> are perhaps the most robust evidence that Earth's climate is changing. And that's why humanity, not one agency, not one country, not one continent, but why humanity has been monitoring global sea level from space with exquisite accuracy for more than 28 years. Like the Sentinel-6 missions that we've heard about today, each one of the previous precision nadir altimetry missions has involved essential international collaboration between European and US agencies. And based on my research at least, if you take all the altimeter missions together, the continuous altimeter mission set represents the longest and most successful multinational and intercontinental collaborative Earth remote sensing program that our species has achieved. That is an accomplishment. As we've evolved our instrument and our spacecraft designs, so too 
have we strengthened and broadened our transatlantic collaborations. I actually thought that, you know, as sea level rises and the ocean deepens, we have deepened our collaborations as well. But make no mistake, our ability to do precision altimetry over the decades and to implement Sentinel-6 now is possible only because of the vision and the contributions of many thousands, thousands of scientists, engineers, managers, and yeah, diplomats from both sides of the Atlantic and from academia, government, and industry. Each and every one of those thousands of contributors deserves to have their name associated with this mission, and I personally salute you all. Thank you, Administra Administrator Bridenstine. Thank you, Yosef, Thomas, Alain, Mercedes, and Steve for your kind words and your strong support over the years and the decades. Speaking to you and to everyone who contributed to the successful development of Sentinel-6, it's been a privilege to work with you, to learn from you, and to be able to call you friends. The entire world is expecting great things from Sentinel-6, and I know that you will deliver. Go Sentinel-6.